Hello everyone, SoCal Serpents here. Today we're going to be doing another rodent rack build. Big shout out to Golden Coast Exotics. Definitely not snuck in on the back. My guy Chad out of Mission Viejo, California. So, we're going to be doing another rack build tutorial using these small concrete tubs from Home Depot or Lowe's get them for like about eight bucks So I got all my parts cut. Here's my cut list. I got four pieces of three quarter by three and a half by 33 inches long. They're right here. These are gonna be my legs for my rack. Now the rack that I'm doing is gonna be a kind of a short build, short in height. So it has only four tubs in the rack. I don't want it too tall right now. I'm thinking I could always add on in the future, but uh, I'm gonna have that five gallon bucket on top. So for the water line, so I don't want to go too high. I'll have that many colonies right now. So I'm just gonna start out with four tubs. So this is the build for four tubs. So I got my four pieces for the legs and I got my eight pieces right here. These are gonna build the frame for the screen, the upper the lid for the tubs so I got these eight pieces three quarter by inch and a half by 28 and I got 16 pieces this is gonna be the other the other parts for the lid with the screen these are right here I got my 16 pieces three quarter by one and a half by 18 and seven eighths it's gonna give us our width when we put them together with these. And then lastly, I have my eight pieces of three quarter by one by 28. These are right here. I had some leftover stuff and it's already like sanded and has a finish on it. So these are gonna be the rails or the gliders that the tubs actually slide on. So these are pretty smooth, ready to go. The tubs are gonna sit nice on those. Here's all my parts, so I, now I can start putting together the lids for the tubs. All right guys, so we're back here working on the rat rack build. And what I'm gonna do is pop another piece in here. So what I'm thinking is I wanted a little smaller 
uh, space for the food to be put so the food's not going everywhere. So I'm gonna pretty much cut this space in half. I might call like an offset or something. Just so I could pop a screw in on this side. So I'm gonna need to cut a piece right here at about seven and an eighth heavy. Put a little teener on there. So about seven and a quarter and I'll just pop it in there and snug it up. Maybe pop a couple nails. So I'm gonna cut four pieces at seven and a quarter. All right guys, got our four pieces cut. Time to nail them up. So I'm gonna go like a little offset right here. on the bottom. Alright guys, I got the frames for the lids pretty much done. They're ready for the screen now. So, I got some two foot by five foot rolls of quarter inch hardware cloth. Got from Home Depot. Got my staple gun, some staples, and I got some tin snips. My grandpa's old tin snips. Rest in peace, Grandpa V. So, we're gonna go ahead Cut the screens to size and then staple them on. guys as you can see I got all the lids done it took a little bit a little bit of work but it's all gonna pay off and uh, so what I did you gotta make sure didn't mention before but you want to make sure you staple the screen on the flush side of the frame so when I built the frames I flushed it all on one side this is the imperfect side. So I went ahead and stapled the screen on the flush side. So this is a complete frame, stapled together. Next thing to do is start to assemble the legs for the rack. We're gonna install the legs. And then the sliding rails. And then install the water line. Go ahead and do some more throughout on uh, each lid.
balls popped out. So I ended up doing four corners. And then the middles. Just so the food can't get stuck at the edges that easily. And then I kind of work my way diagonal. Work my way diagonal. Get some crisscrosses. Dots here. Give you guys a breakdown of the measurements right now. level all right guys so these are pretty much the measurements here so an inch and a half is the bottom of the first lid two and three eighths is the start of the rail and you go to nine is the next bottom of the lid nine and seven eighths is the next top of the rail yep. 16 and 5 eighths is the next bottom of the lid 17 and a half the next top of the rail 24 and an eighth the next bottom of the lid and 25 is the top of the rail so rails we have are three quarter by one inch and I'm going to do the three quarter going uh, vertical and the, the, the one inch is going to be horizontal so I got plenty of meat for the tub to slide on. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to have the one, this is three quarter side here, this is the one inch and the tub is going to slide right on that one inch. Really nice, have plenty of room to sit and it's not going to not gonna fall off, risk falling off of that uh, three quarter side. So I go one inch there. And, uh, I got these, uh, these smooth ones here, pretty smooth. Put those on. So one more time, these are the measurements. Pretty much you can make a mark on all these measurements and then square your line up and boom did all the thinking for you this is for a just a four tier rack with the small or medium concrete tubs they're like about the eight dollar tubs they're like six by I forget the dimensions they're like 20 inches wide by 28 inches long or something like that so you can pause this frame and drill your holes and so right now I'm gonna drill some pre-drill some holes that way I can pop some screws in uh, and then slap the racks together. Alright guys, got my pre-drilled, my countersink bit. I'm going to go ahead and start pre-drilling the holes.
show you guys a little sample. So this is where the top of the rail is. The rail is going to be sitting right in here underneath this line. And we said that 2 and 3 eighths line is the top of the rail. And then inch and a half is right there center of my lid. So I'm going to go ahead and drill all these boards. Guys, got some inch and a half screws here. And my impact gun. I'm gonna start popping these rails on first. Then we'll pop the lids on. Check it out. So, victory lap here around the rat rack. That's looking pretty good. All the tubs fit. do the last finishing touches here what I'm gonna do is there's this hole on the concrete tubs I'm gonna pop a bolt and a nut in there so that there's no space for the rats to chew So one of the finishing touches I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a piece to stop the tub from sliding all the way back right here. So I cut this board so it'll stop all the tubs and I'll pop it on right here. So. So here's the complete rat rack build. Just slide nice and easy, get the stop right there. Hope you guys like the video. Helpful. Stay tuned for the water line assembly and install the water line in the next video. So. Appreciate you guys watching. Big shout out KG Fun Projects. Make sure you go check them out. Remember, it ain't a project unless you got a bomb in it. So.
Got this uh, Reclaim Wood Rat Rack build DIY. It's pretty cheap. Uh, probably cost about 50 bucks in materials. Yeah, pretty happy. Get those rats out of those uh, kind of container store tubs and get them into these and get a water line installed so I don't have to give them water like twice a day. And it's just a bigger space for them to live. So I enjoyed making this video with you guys. Hope this helps someone. I know there's a lot of different videos out there. This one is pretty unique because it's got like a slim design. I'm not using any 2x4s, I'm just using 1x4s so it saves a little bit of space. I just wanted to start out with a 4 tier rack. Uh, I didn't want to go too big. I don't have that many rats yet. So I could always add more on top and extend the water line. So just want to give it a shot guys. I'm feeling pretty good about it. So. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Let's make animals great again. Until next time, Adrian signing out.